What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to a short video that I wanted to make, which is basically kind of like, describing my thoughts on the Lally's Game preview, or actually it's technically the Frailty preview, because Frailty is, for some reason, the first story in the book, it's kind of weird, I don't understand why they've done that, I don't really like that, but um, it might be changed, I don't think it will, but it might be. Um, but yeah, we're gonna actually take another look back through this. If you want to listen to my audiobook of this small little preview, I have already uploaded it uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, but today I want to talk about something very specific, which is the possible return of Eleanor in Tales from the Peter Plex, the series. We do know that the first story in Fazbear Frights was really, really important to the Stitch Wraith, and the second story in the Fazbear Fright series was really important to the series. Uh, also, a little bit Count the Ways, like Count the Ways, the third story in the series, kind of, it, it tied up its loose ends in the last epilogue, which I really liked. Uh, it showed that Millie had her happiest day. But like, in terms of Tales from the Peterplex, I have a feeling it's going to do the same sort of thing because of it being the same formula as uh, Fazbear Frights, where the first few stories are going to be really important to the series as a whole, so I'm hoping that this kind of set kind of sets up like a villain or uh, a main kind of theme throughout this series, and I feel like Eleanor could actually be coming back or in spirit form, <laughs> not in spirit form, uh, like uh, back in our spirits because uh, there's definitely something reappearing uh, to do with Eleanor. So if you haven't read through this preview and you don't want spoilers for any of the book, then. Uh, Maybe don't listen to this, uh, but this is only the preview. It's like 13 pages long. Go read it. It's 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 fascinating. Anyway, <laughs> so let's just give a quick summary. So we begin this story with basically this kid called Jack and... Oh, wait. Oh, no, it's not a kid called Jack. Never mind. It's just a kid. I don't think it's got a name. But uh, there's a guy called Jack. See, at first I thought the kid was called Jack, and then I was like, wait, Jack from Friendly Face? Who got hit by, like, a, a vehicle? Anyway, yeah, so we're on a road, um, and it's raining, and there's emergency lights and stuff, there's EMTs, and there's a kid that's been hit by a, uh, a vehicle, and they they can't save him, basically. The, uh, the people cannot save this kid. But then there's, there's this weird woman that comes comes over and she's doing something with her hands where is it uh back and forth i believe uh oh my gosh this is gonna take me ages a knife okay so there's a knife in her hand and they're like oh my god they're gonna like do something bad to him uh and then they actually revive him in some some way so like how did how did that happen uh and it is revealed very quickly that like, oh, to and fro, here it is, to and fro, uh, that Jessica is the one who is doing this. The protagonist is kind of saving people. And our first look at Jessica in the story is like as an evil force that actually then went on to become a good force. Um, so this is, this is very interesting. We learn that all of Jessica's power comes from the pendant. Um, which we will talk about in a second. But I really want to know what Jessica's history is, because w the big line I think I, I, I want to analyze more is like, Jessica pushed the wet mop across the hospital floor, she works in a hospital, to and fro, to and fro. She remembered that saying from somewhere before, she just didn't remember from where. Something in the past. What does that mean? Jessica has a history of something to do with to and fro and we don't know what it is yet i have a feeling it's going to be quite a big reveal or that's just kind of like a subtle nod to something to do with eleanor or the pendant maybe i don't know who jessica is really it can't be jessica from together forever <laughs> but uh yeah this is very interesting to me that there is definitely something in jessica's history maybe through her family or something like she was passed down the pendant through her family i'm not too sure i'm just kind of like replicating the uh the plot of miss marvel right now <laughs> uh yeah so this happens we're in a hospital 
And then something that I can't believe I didn't pick up on while I was reading this preview is that there was actually some silver like filings. So le let's have a look. Let's find silver. Uh, yeah, little bits of silver. Uh, relax, Jane. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. They've been taking good care of him. Yeah, the, the, it's literally just like silver shavings. And I cannot believe I did not pick up on this while I was reading it. But it's clear that this, the, these silver shavings were from the pendant, you know? is a, is a silver chain that hung from her neck from beneath her shirt and lifted over her head. Um, it's kind of crazy. Like, why why is the shaving what she does to activate the powers? Uh, because I believe Eleanor didn't really need to do that uh, back in the Phasma Frights. Uh, we know that this is definitely a heart-shaped pendant. It's a heart-shaped pendant just like the one before. Uh, it had once been bigger and it had once been bigger than a crescent moon. Uh, oh no, sorry, it had once been bigger, but now it was crescent moon shape. Uh, and so that's clear, like, she has, she has literally been scratching off this pendant onto the boy to heal him or whatever, whoever it was. Um, but yeah, and there's rough scratches embedded on the side. It, more evidence to show that really what she's doing is to and fro, she's kind of chiseling at this, uh, at this pendant with her knife and it's healing people. Now my question is, where is this gonna like lead the story? Because sure, that's fine. Sure, you can heal people with this pendant, but that's not the whole story. Like where is this gonna take Jessica? What adventures is she gonna go on? Is there going to be some consequence to, like, using the pendant? And I have a feeling that there is. And I think that that is uh, the point of the story, is that it is using her power. It is taking her energy and healing other people because of it. So, in other words, she's doing good for the world, but doing bad for her. And the reason I say this is because I believe... I cannot, I cannot remember where it was. But she has like dark pits in her eyes instead of her like lovely brown eyes from before. So clearly this pendant has come into her life at some point. Clearly she has used to and fro many times before using the pendant I would assume. Uh, and, and like she cannot remember it. I don't know. I, I want you guys to theorize in the comments below. Does this mean the return of Eleanor? This definitely seems like Eleanor's pendant. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, because really, at the end of the Stitch Race, I believe Larson just took the pendant away from Dr. Talbot or whatever it was. And I believe that was it. That the pendant was just... It wasn't destroyed or anything. It wasn't put away. It was just, like, taken away. Um, so, like, how did Jessica get a hold of it if it is this pendant? Um... We, we do know that Eleanor is dead, you know, Eleanor did did not survive the ending of Fast Birth Rights, but that, she could come back. <laughs> she could come back, Afton always comes back. Uh, I believe Eleanor was like a an incarnation of Afton's, I guess, agony. I guess agony. Um, I don't know, it, it's, it's a weird creation and Eleanor could be coming back, but I'm not too sure. I don't know what that, that implies for security breach, if especially if all of this is canon. I know people have said patient 46 is Eleanor. I'm not sure I totally believe that, but you know, it could be true. Um, I don't know. Would you guys want Eleanor to come back? That's a big question that I have. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, I'm sorry if this video is a bit messy. I just kind of put it together and I, I just did what I could in the time that I had to record, uh, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening and uh, I will see you later. Goodbye.